Okay. All right, time to demo this thing. This is a module that I just designed. Well, not just designed, but I just uh, started offering a PC board and chip for it, this uh, module. This is a voltage-controlled clock slash divider. It's got five outputs to it. Uh, down here is our master output, and here's outputs one through four. It can also be built with six outputs. Uh, when you build it with six outputs, though, you lose these, which are your pulse width modulator controls, uh, one for each uh, of the outputs other than the master output. Uh, in addition to that, you've got controls for the division. Each output has its own separate division control. All of that can be controlled either with an external control voltage or with a knob. Uh, on my build, I've decided to do it with just a knob. Um, but uh, I've designed the PC board in a way that it's going to be up to you whether you decide to do external voltage control or not on that stuff. So here we go. Uh, we are going to take the output of number one, and that's going to be the control voltage for our VCA that's being fed into our amp over in the corner. Uh, hopefully the sound's okay and you can hear it. And I'm just going to start to slowly push up the pulse width modulation on uh, number one. Alright, and then here's our tempo control. And then let's start dividing down that frequency. So it's getting a little slow here. Alright, and so that's basically how that works. Uh, next thing we're going to show you is the random control. Uh, with this, instead of, you, instead of these knobs controlling um, what division of the frequency is coming out from each output, a random division is selected by the chip, and these not, the division controls are now going to be controlling uh, certain parameters of how it picks that. Division number one is going to say uh, how many times on the count, how many counts it needs to get before it re-rolls and selects new random divisions. This is going to determine whether that count is coming from the master frequency, from the master clock, or whether uh, each individual output is ticking its own little re-roll clock there. Number three is selecting whether, if you've got number three on the left, it's going to be selecting uh, that all divisions are available. And on, number th and on the right there, number three is going to tell the clock that it can only select uh, outputs which are powers of two. That's your 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and 64. And then division four control is now going to select the maximum division. So when it's set all the way to the left, uh, it's only going to divide to one. And then here, no divisions higher than, uh, I think that's probably five where the knob is right now. And so let's take a little listen to what that sounds like. Alright, well, next thing I'm going to show you, I'm going to take, uh, let's see, what am I doing here? Alright. <laughs> uh, the square wave coming out of our oscillator that we were sending into our VCA output is now going to get sent into the reset input, uh, and the clock has been, this little switch right here is disabling the clock, uh, which now when you put something in the reset input, it's now going to divide from that frequency. And uh, the output of number one is now going to be fed directly into our amp. And I've got the pulse width modulate turned down, so... So as you can hear, once it gets to some of those higher frequencies there, uh, it, you know, it, uh, it has a little bit of error there. It's not... Uh, going to be a perfect square wave. 
Um, but here we go. And then the real fun starts when you set it to uh, random division out of an oscillator. Well, I guess that depends on your definition of fun. Set that to quicker change there. And then here's uh, output three. It's going to be in the other uh, input of our VCA. There we go. That's where it starts getting interesting. So as you can see, hours of entertainment, depending on how easily entertained you are by weird sounds. Alright, enjoy!